across the sunlit savanna, Sahel and Sahara of West Africa is an ancient guild of storytellers whose practice dates back thousands of years, known by different names to different peoples in different places of the region, Jelly in Mandi, Arukin in Yoruba, Jesere in Suninke, Lunsi in Dagbani, all together known as the Griot in Western Palance. Once upon a time, these storytellers occupied a pride of place in the great empires of West Africa. They were the memory of the people, repository of knowledge, customs, and traditions, their tongue, a bridge between the past, present, and future. You would not find a more honored tradition of storytelling anywhere else. When they stood to tell or sing their stories, they would introduce themselves and their lineage, and then they would proceed to say the following words in a variety of ways. This story I'm about to tell you, I have heard from my father, who heard it from his father, who heard it from his father. You may meet another griot with a different version of the story because that is how he too had it from his father. This sort of disclaimer always at the beginning of the stories of these consummate storytellers speaks directly to a foundational principle of dignified storytelling. It is not my story. The understanding that as a storyteller, your fidelity is to your characters and contributors whose voices you must project, whose stories you must respect, whose agency you must uphold, whose dignity you must preserve. By centering your contributors and allowing their humanity to flourish, you are on course to uphold the second principle, I do no harm. That your stories must not incite, inflame, or cause harm to your contributors and their communities. It must not cause harm to their contributors because you must prioritize their safety and well-being. When the grill admit that there are several versions to their stories, they are acknowledging nuance, acknowledging complexity because there isn't just one story to a people, there are several stories. A narrative must be understood within a full context. They are acknowledging that we are all multi-dimensional. And because the stories of people are diverse and complex, why they are told, how they are told, where they are told matters to those whose stories are being told and they must be fully informed to approve of what is being told because consent is more than paperwork. It is not just a signature on a page, it is active engagement at every stage. Again, when the West African storytellers introduce their lineage and tell you that their stories from their forebears, they are acknowledging bias, acknowledging complexity because stories are often filtered through the lens of the teller. As a storyteller, you must acknowledge that I am biased and must not seek to control the reality but to allow the truth of your characters and contributors to flow. For the truth to flow, you must first understand what that truth is. You must immerse yourself in the cultural and historical context of the story. Your audience must understand the background that informs the experiences of your characters. Your audience must understand the background that informs the experiences of your characters. Because, because, because in this world, the one thing you have to acknowledge is that storytelling is much an art as it is a science. The science of storytelling is research. I do my homework. Another great and time-honored tradition of storytellers we can draw inspiration from comes from the diverse indigenous peoples of Native America, from the Cherokee to the Apache to the all the Native American people. This great culture in their stories demonstrate a remarkable nexus between humans, land, and mother nature. There is a soul in every plant, animal, and even the rivers and the land. A great chieftain once said, this land that does not belong to man. Man belongs to the land. We are not the center of the universe, merely a strand in a grand tapestry. The stories of these diverse indigenous peoples of America seek to cultivate a great sense of respect, humility, and empathy for all things. As a storyteller, you are not the center of the story. You must care about the people and places whose stories you are telling. You must ask yourself if this was my story. Is this how I want it to be told? 
you must uphold the principle, I am empathetic, and thoughtfully reflect on the impact of your stories on people, communities, and the environment so you can mitigate the negatives and elevate the positives. Once you truly empathize with your characters and contributors, you would uphold the principle, I protect other people's data like my own and prioritize truth over headlines, especially so in this fast page digital age where stories are keen to end their click swift to go viral and take top seconds accuracy and authenticity is key in telling a dignified story what is the one thing that has propelled the world to evolve from the ordinary to the extraordinary to move through the caves in time what is that thing that makes us honor our dreams what is the wind that swells the sails to push us on the great seas of life? What do we live for that defines the very essence of our humanity? Stories. Stories open up our minds to the endless possibilities of this world. Stories are the lessons of the past, experiences of the present, and visions of the future, like the story of how a Sheikh Zaid lived for his dreams to forge a proud nation out of the dispersing Bedouins, defying the harshness of the desert. Today, the Emirates stands as a strong union of shimmering progress from the deep black wells of Adi Dhabi to the mountain peaks of Ras Al Haima into the sunlit beaches of Fujaira from the pearly shores of the Bay Ajman and Sharjah into the mongoose of Umm Al Quwain this is a wonder of the modern world and it is in this wonder that the world has immersed itself in the greatest show of our time where dreams would take flight and soar into the realms of reality where minds and and heart would connect and human ingenuity would catalyze new dimensions in art and science. It is here at Expo 2020 with Dubai Cares that we gather today to usher in a new age of storytelling for the times where we put human dignity at the heart of our stories by pledging to uphold the 10 principles of dignified storytelling. Stories are powerful. A story can change the world, and we want to change the world for the better. One dignified story after another.